our most loved ones. Kids, hooked on technology and disconnected from nature. And we, as parents, try to encourage them to go outside, explore and play, and teach them history. Yet, it seems hopeless at times. Nota Macro. Introducing the world's first waterproof kids detector series. Mini and Mini Horde. Easy to use. Lightweight and compact. Find, discriminate and pinpoint. Just like an adult's detector. Share your hobby with your kids to build great family memories. Let your kids discover a world full of adventure. Experience an excitement of discovery right outside their door. Mini and Midi Horde. World's first waterproof kids detector series for the young treasure hunters of the future. I'm Dave D, and you're watching XP Team USA. Good evening. I'm in shell shock. I've been trying to download something and we've been trying to get it over via wheat transfer and I finally just ripped it via Facebook instead. Good evening and welcome to the big detecting show. And it's our first birthday. Yay yeah, us. And thank you all and sundry for being here. All and sundry for watching. All and sundry for being interested in the show and uh, giving us the spur to, to continue. It's... Um, it's been a wacky old year. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, uh, generally technical glitches, but uh, here we are and uh, thoroughly enjoying it. Although uh, I'm not the type who likes doing this, but here we are. So um, I'll go straight into the, ch to the hello areas and I'll say hello to Nick West, to Rick Hill, TC Detect. Good evening, Tony. Uh, Darren Booth. Aaron Weedle, hello Aaron, good evening all, Facebook user, love that bloke, uh, Rob Random, Scotty B, Scotty Alden, the Detector Network, Sussex Seekers, um, MDC, Bob Hope, who wasn't first on this evening, ha, Nick beat you, uh, Steve Pettikin, Ash Unearthed, XP, uh, Sky Jackson, Pomsey Metal Detecting, Andy Jones, Adrian Gaylor, and I think I'm caught up with everyone. Uh, John Titchin, there's John Titchin, Ian Jackson, uh, Sky's dad, Yorkshire Relic Hunter. So thank you all for joining us this evening. Without further ado, I'll bring in uh, Mr. Aaron Weedle, our co-host this week. Good evening, Aaron. Good evening to you, sir. How I'm, are you? I'm fantastic. How's your good self? I'm lovely. I'm all full up on sausages and baked potatoes. Have you had your tea? I've had me tea. What did I have? I had a homemade steak pie, chips and beans. Proper, proper Ooh. kids' food. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> all Lovely. I, all Lovely. I was missing was the mini pancakes. <laughs> so we're all full, we're all bloated, and we're ready for it. Well, we're ready for it. We're in pain because we're getting old, but that's another story. Uh, Aaron, have you been well? 
Have you been busy? I've, I've, I've been good. I've been busy. I've been out and about. I've been uh, hunting, detecting, been working. Yeah, I've been a busy boy. Been a busy working, boy. working. I hate working. Why do we have to work? Well, I... I, I use the term work in its loosest possible sense. I've been sitting in a cupboard talking to myself. There's no wrong with that. I do it some days. It's not working. It's just sitting in a cupboard talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, Aaron, I'm going to click on over because, as I've just said, I've been trying to download the file. Uh, Luke's we transferred it me, but it didn't quite work. So I've had to uh, go around the houses and with... <laughs> Just as we were doing the countdown, it finished downloading. So without further ado, uh, Mr. Higgins, I'm going to share the screen. Look, sharing audio, as I must, as I do. And uh, I will find the file to play. So uh, are we sharing the screen yet? Do we know? Anyone? Let's have a look. Yes, we're sharing the screen. So back to the file. Open the file and here's this week's news. Well, first up, we got a fantastic bit of video footage that was sent to us from KC Rallies of a gold hammered coin uh, arising on one of their digs. Fan fantastic uh, video and really shows the emotion, I think, uh, that comes with finding gold. KC, gold hammered. He's got the dance, he's got the dance. He's got the dance, gold hammered. Unbelievable, mate. Congratulations. You're going to pick it up. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Gold, gold hammer. I can't believe it. What? Yeah, it's gold hammer. Oh, mate. Yeah, pod. Oh, my God. And next up is a find that was made on last year's Rodney Cook Memorial Charity Rally, of course, uh, Gary Cook's dig. Detectorist unearths Saxon treasure in Wiltshire Farmer's Field. So a silver coin found near Swindon may be unique and is currently being examined by the British Museum. Detectorist Robin Goodwin made the discovery in September 2019 on farmland near Broad Hinton. During his research beforehand, he discovered that a long disused footpath crossed the land and decided that it might be an interesting place to further explore. And after a few hours of fruitless searching, Robin was thrilled to discover what he immediately recognised as a silver coin. Well done, Robin. A fantastic find and uh, great that it came up at the Rodney Cook Memorial Charity Rally. OK, so now we move over to archaeology, uh, to an article in the Daily Express entitled Archaeology Horror, Human Remains Discovered in Scottish Abbey. So archaeologists were shocked to find human remains in Scotland during restoration works. The human remains, thought to date back at least 200 years, were unearthed at the Borders Abbey. The discovery was made as workers were engaged in refurbishment of the ramparts, and a team of archaeologists is now examining and recording the remains. They will eventually be removed from the site for a more detailed analysis. Scottish Borders Council and Historic Environment Scotland are now working together to ensure that the remains are sensitively excavated. They will monitor the investigation to ensure information is added to the historic interpretation of the site. And sticking with archaeology, archaeology mystery volunteers baffled by extremely rare 1,000 year old coins. So, archaeologists were baffled after a group of youth volunteers unearthed handfuls of ancient gold coins in Israel. The young people volunteering on an archaeological dig came across 425 gold coins that had laid buried in the clay for almost 1,100 years. And this full story is just about to go up on the Archaeology and Metal Detecting magazine, it's archmdmag.com. This week's uh, news update. I did just want to mention, I just got myself one of these, the Nocta Macro Pulse Dive. I don't have the scuba uh, attachment on the end of it, but what a fantastic bit of kit, uh, especially for the price. I've got to be honest, I'd never really particularly like the Nocta pointers, you know, when they have the buttons? Uh, on the end. I don't really like that, but these are really, really smart bits of kit. You've got all your buttons on the side. Again, obviously you've got your little light, but really robust, really, 
good looking uh, bit of kit. Obviously you also have the option of upgrading uh, to make it into a scuba detector, scuba detector. But yeah, fantastic bits of kit, fully waterproof, pulse induction, uh, induction as well. Um, so uh, that will make them very, very stable on the beach. But yeah, I think next time you're looking at a pinpointer, it's well worth taking a look at one of these, the Nocta Macro Pulse Dives. Brilliant bit of kit. Marvellous. Fantastic, that, Luke. Aaron, isn't he the most dapper gent in metal detecting? Isn't he, though? You know, he's out with his little flat cap on more often than not, shirt and tie, comfortable yeah. little bro. Yeah. Couldn't see, wouldn't see me in one of them. <laughs> I got married, that was about it. That's for me with a shirt and tie. <laughs> Uh, what, what? what do you think of the news? Some great stories there, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, those gold coins, when you first see that headline and it says, you know, dug up by a group of youths, and you think to yourself, well, wow. So what, they've been out detecting, they've stumbled across them, all and then it turns out, actually, they were volunteers and they were helping out, you know, and it's like, ah, that's mm. it, okay. So they, they didn't pocket a few, you know, they weren't little <laughs> scallywags. Uh, they were they were supposed to be looking for it, but I mean, what were they doing on this excavation? Were they just like helping out, or and then they didn't expect to find the gold, or were they looking for like ruins, remains of a floor or a wall, or what? From the initial report that I read, I think they were basically out on an excavation, a proper uh, excavation as volunteers. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think they were students in archaeology as well, and just so happened to to pop up. So uh, it's a, a dream find, really, isn't it? Very nice. Very, very. nice. And uh, Jed Barabi. Oh, how good. Wouldn't you love to live in the background of Jed Barabi? Mm. Where the skeletons were found. What a beautiful looking place. Very, very, uh, very spooky looking. Yes, mm. that's the word. Atmospheric. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to share the screen again, Aaron. And we've got this week's images to look from. Uh, that have been sent in by uh, viewers onto the Big Detecting Show Facebook group. So uh, if I may share again, Mr Higgins, that would be delightfully kind of you. Marvellous. Oh, we don't want that one. We want this one. So we'll select them all and we will... Oh, do we do, what do we do now? Do we open? Yeah, we'll open. There you are. <laughs> I was... I was <laughs> I was trying to be damned this to download other things, so uh, I, mean, I forgot to set this up. Anyway, this is uh, Carlos Marina. He's uh, newish to the group. I've not seen him pop up before, but he's added a number of his finds this week, and that looks like a nice buckle. Yeah, that's nice, that. It's nice to come yes. out in one piece. Uh, some form of loom weight, do you think, Aaron? Yeah, yeah. Some sort of loom weight, maybe yeah, possible trading weight, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I've got one not dissimilar that I found in uh, Shropshire, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, so it was actually the last find I ever made with the Xterra Seven Hundred Five. Never should have got rid of that. Now uh, a bit of a livery button. Let's have a zoom in, shall we? There we are. Isn't that nice? That's a nice shiny one, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. Very nice. I'd like to know the uh, the history, obviously, on that. If uh, if Carlos is watching, if you could pop some details into the the group uh, explaining what it is, or if anybody else, I'm sure Nick West will actually be able to. If it is a uh, military button, Nick West will be able to answer that question. Now I'm not oh, good yeah. with coins, as we know. <laughs> so uh, who's that then? Who have we got? Third. Uh, someone the third is it George? George the third, maybe? I don't know. No, that, what is that William? Is it? Let's oh. try and refer to that. Let's have a, have a look at this little lady girl here. Charles, William, William the third is facing the other way. George the third is uh, oh, it's someone I'm sure somebody will tell us. Yeah, yeah, Will William third. People in the chat are saying William the third. Oh, marvelous. Yeah. Well, I was close with Neville the third, and I presume this is the other side of of said coin. Yeah, I think he's got it upside down though. Mm. That would be like a C three, wouldn't it? Uh, another one. Is that a nice little 
Was that a farthing? Half penny, maybe? You ask me these questions. Oh, that's George the second. Yeah. It says George's two Rex. That's quite a yeah. That is a, considering the, the age, what, what we're talking, George the Second, we're going back to uh, 1727 till 1760. So that's uh, quite a decent uh, bust on that, considering, isn't it? Mm. That's had a good scrub, that. That's had a good clean up. Mm. Uh, this is Ian Jackson's uh, bits in the last couple of days. Uh, again, a nice thimble. Uh, some bits and bobs, sixpence. Uh, Thimble, as spindle I said, whirl. spindle whirl. Yeah, so yep. some buttons, uh, buttons up the top, uh, cartridge, some, there? Thimble yeah, ringer. and yep. some, yeah, lovely. Oh, I need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Cy Weller. Now, at the end of this, I've got a, a brief video which I'll have to, I think I'll have to stop the sharing and then rethink it with, um, because he's got a video of finding it. Ring, I think it was. Uh, it might have even been that ring, which is oh, lovely. Look at that. That's nice. Now, I, I, I'm honestly no idea with the age, but you've got the um, the stampings and everything. Mm. So he's had a, a nice little haul, and I do like these cyclist touring club badges and the likes. It's uh, it's modern history, but it shows history. Yeah, I had something similar. Mm. Um, I think it was um, three years of perfect attendance from a school, dated 1906. Solid, Mind and you. it was a solid silver little um, pendant type thing. Yeah, you had three to go years to school then, or you were dead, wouldn't you? <laughs> who, who's giving kids a solid silver medal? A perfect attempt. Maybe that's why a lot of them play hooky these days because they're not <laughs> handing out medals no more. Not getting any Where silver. Cross mm. my palm with yeah. silver, sir. And that's one's a last image from Carlos Marina. Now, uh, Luke, I apologise. I'm going to have to uh, stop sharing and reshare again because I uh, I didn't click. I forgot about the audio. So if that's okay, I'll reshare again, and then we'll look at the uh, size video. All right. <laughs> I've just been called over. So, man, has got, like, yeah. Wow. Potentially. Wow. wow. Look at that. Me. Let's get in focus. Oh, can you see my it? Days. Yeah, you can see it. Is that an Empress head? Oh, I don't or am know. I tripping? I've, it needs a really good wow, clean. Wow, wow. That not... is something special. Look at it. Just look. Oh, hang on. There's all marks on it. Is there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, mate! <laughs> what is all that about? Oh, that is phenomenal. Let's get that in focus again. There we go. Have I got any signal here? Hang on. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. That That's got to be Roman. It just looks Roman to me, mate. It's got to be. How deep was that? Uh, that was. Oh, mate. Couple of inches, three inches, three inches. And what what numbers was it coming up on the notch? That's fifteen. Fifteen on the notch. Eight hundred. Wow, <laughs> mate. I've got Reed Jamie. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Sai, for uh, sharing the images and the video. Uh, a fantastic find. That I, I'm absolutely clueless on the where it, who and what it would be. But uh, Aaron, fantastic find. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, looking at it with the Roman face on it, it was a Roman sort of emperor, or something it, like yes, that. Yes, but, but with all the all the stampings on it that we showed in the pictures yeah. earlier, that that would, I presume that would obviously point to a lot later. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was I, the the design of it and the what was on there, you know, for the uh, for the seal and everything else. And you think to yourself, well, that's that's got some age to it. But then when you see the hallmark inside, you think. It can't be that old. But, I mean, obviously, it's going to have some sort of age to it. But when did they start hallmarking? Gold Aaron. Rings? Aaron. Look what? what's flashing below us. It's the Paul birthday show. Out. It's the birthday show. And I said to Luke, 
get whoever on. Just get people. Surprise me. So uh, we've got a surprise yeah. call. Asking for trouble now. <laughs> Who is it? Good evening. It's Andy Sampson. Hello, Andy Sampson. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Fantastic. Pleasure to have you on. Thanks a lot. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I'm a surprise, am I? You are. Uh, for those who don't know, Andy Sampson's a metal detectorist. We spoke to him on All Metal Mode UK. Uh, Andy yeah. had a bit of a Roman coin hoard find a couple of years ago that turned out to be not so much, but then came back and had a real one. Yeah. No, well, not a hoard, but yeah, the first one was uh, the fake hoard that we found from the detectorists. I don't know if everybody <laughs> remembers that. It made every uh, national newspaper, <laughs> and yeah. over, and over this this week it popped up on my timeline again from another club, another um, another Facebook page where somebody had found it and decided to put it on there again. Asking Can I say thank you? you? I want to say thank <laughs> you to you, Andy, because you sent me one of those. So thank you for that. <laughs> oh, did, I send, did I send you one of those? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, you're one of the very few people I sent it to. <laughs> I think I sent, only, I only sent three out. I think I sent one to yourself, one to, um, no, I, I sent three out. I sent one to yourself, one to Mike over in America, and he never received it, so I sent him a second Ooh. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I've got it all encased, pride of place. Have you? All right, okay. I'll carry them about in my wallet now. I've got a couple in there that I show people. <laughs> <laughs> you pop it. Just Roman crack. Hall turns out to be TV show detectorist prop. There so you go. Yeah. I, I take it, obviously, for, for those who, who don't know the story, I take it it was found on, on the set of the detectorist. Well, yeah, my, um, my wife works actually on the farm where they film the detectorist. And um, we knew that they were coming to do some filming. So we were sort of like mucking about and, and trying to find out where they were doing it. But nobody, had, there, there hadn't been anybody there. And we went out one evening. And um, bearing in mind, we'd only been detecting for about six or eight months. And um, we went out and we found a piece of field that had been freshly ploughed. Um, and we thought, cool, oh, this is great. You know, it was a nice sunny evening and, we started going on it, myself and Paul, and uh, after about 10 or 15 minutes, he'd gone up the other end of the plough bit, and um, he he started dancing around and shouting that he found Roman gold. And obviously, when he came across to me and showed me, I mean, we weren't any the wiser. I mean, as I say, we, we'd only been detecting for about six months. We didn't know what it was like, you know, anything like that. We went back over to where um, he'd found it, and... Uh, yeah, lo and behold, we pulled 54 coins out of the ground with with pottery. Um, so it's all, all looked, to me, it looked real. You know, we sat on the edge of the, the furrows and we just, I couldn't believe it, you know. It was fantastic. But then, obviously, um, my wife spoke, well, because we were, we were trying to find out whether or not they'd left a load of coins here. Um, and she spoke to the director the following day and said, look, you know, do you leave, have you left any coins anywhere? And he said, no, we wouldn't We wouldn't do that. And then all of a sudden, um, she said, only my husband had, had, and his mate have, have dug up 54 coins um, in this ploughed bit. And he, he sort of stopped her and he said, oh, hang on a minute, what ploughed bit, whereabouts? And she told him. And um, there you go. So our, our dreams were dashed at that point, which, um, you know, I'm still taking. I'm still getting counselling for it. But I'll get over it. <laughs> I take it you wanted to put a spade in the back of uh, Mackenzie Crook's neck. <laughs> no, I mean, it, I mean, I can see it. I can see the funny side now. <laughs> At the time, it wasn't particularly funny. We we both, we both uh, you know, paid our mortgages off and bought um, <laughs> sports cars and everything in our minds. But the. Um, what, you know, the, the sickening thing was that we came home and we started looking at, through the books at what the coins were and going on the internet. And um, there was one coin which was a um, an Emperor Nero gold coin, and if it had been real, it would have been worth twenty seven and a half thousand pounds. And there were six of them, so we, were <laughs> which wasn't all that, you know. So 
but you know, it, it's a good story. It's a it's good fantastic. story. Fantastic. And as I say, it keeps keeps flitting around. And somebody put it on a, one of the, the uh, detecting pages only only last week, and um, and I, I, it came up, and I thought, oh, here we go, you know. And there's all these comments on there, and then somebody said, oh, Andy Sampson's on this page, and I thought, give it the old thumbs up. So yeah, every now and again, it gives everybody a bit of a grin. <laughs> but you did. Yeah. End up getting some roaming up. Well, yeah, I mean, um, la- what was it? Um, last year, January, um, we were on a different um, area and uh, found a real gold um, solidus. So that was that was brilliant. And literally, um, to the day, a year to the day, I found another one in another different field. So that was weird. Very, very, very weird. But um, yeah, I've actually, I've actually got it here. I don't, don't think you'll be able to see it. But I'll try and put it up to the camera. But um, it's quite an odd one. There we go. Can you see it? Can't mm-hmm. see it. Yeah. So um, wow. get a bit of focus on it. There we go. Yeah. Fantastic. I know. So I mean. Again, that was at the bottom of a bottom of, bottom of a, a hole, and you just look at it. And but it was it was the weird thing is it was exactly a year to the day when we found that. But we had a lot of other bits and pieces. That, as I say, was at the beginning of this year. Mm. And um, believe it or not, since since I found that, I've I found absolutely nothing else. Doesn't matter what you you know go out and I've <laughs> nothing, nothing. It's the curse all. of the gold. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, do you know what? I honestly think it is. We, we say it every time we go out, but, you know, there you go. Luke, Never mind. Can, Luke can you briefly uh, share the uh, the screen again? Some of these, uh, Graham Dempsey sent me uh, a few images, uh, which I'm going to have to find now, obviously. Are they in there? <laughs> no, they're not in there. Are they in download? <sighs> I'm going to have to wobble word. Oh, there we are. So, uh, do they ring a bell? What, with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where were they? <laughs> uh, somebody in America's bought them, apparently. Some detectorist oh, right. props. Oh right, okay. Well, not from me. They haven't. <laughs> you know, our ones. That's that's our ones, and they're on a. Yeah. They're actually still at the farm and and uh, in a glass case there, the non hauled But that's what it, that yeah. So that gives you a good idea. they also just to let you know that we. Um, I also found the tree, you know, where Mackenzie Crook and uh, Toby Jones sit under the tree and do a lot, yeah. of, a lot of their chatting, um, and where the coins actually at the end of the last um, program they all fell out of the out of the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we found the tree. I've had a couple of pictures taken with you know with us sitting there and just for a laugh. And we ran the uh, detector round, and there was a load of them still underneath the tree <laughs> as well. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't get excited about those ones. <laughs> I kept swearing every time I found them. I take it but you kept we, one or two of them. Oh yeah, we, well yeah, we have, we've got kept all them and put them in the pile. But the interesting thing is, one of the lads who works at the farm, he's he um, he's a shepherd up there, and he's um, his son, um, who's quite young. I think he's seven or eight. He's really, you know, he's he's quite. Um, he really wants to get into detecting and. Um, I've given him the old pinpointer, but he's, his dad bought him a, a little detector and they went up to that tree and had a little go round it and I think they found a couple. So that, that's really sparked his interest in it as well, which is a good thing, I suppose. It is brilliant. You yeah. know, real or not real, finding something like that. If my little lad found something like that. He's, he's seven. Well, he'd yeah. be beside himself. And I, I think know. he'd be <laughs> for life then. <laughs> yeah, I was like that when I found the 54. Have you found anything uh, in a in a similar manner, Aaron? No, I don't find anything. Me, you know me. I'm lucky if I find a two (laughs) p. I'd say fantastic. One of one of the things that 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 gets me, and and we found we found quite a lot of the um, a lot of a lot of little Roman grots and bits and pieces. Um, found a nice last year. Found a nice um, uh, Saxon pendant, um, 
which I've got here. Hang on a minute. I'll, I'll dig it out and show you. Um, a really nice old Saxon pendant, which, uh, where are we? I've got all my little bits here. Look. That's good. Which we found on a, on a, on a field, which we think is a, a Saxon cemetery. You see oh, that? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And, um, I had uh, one of the guys at our club, he made um, three up out of silver and one of gold and, it, and they look cracking. I mean, this is, this would have, this has got gold. Um, uh, it's got gold plating on it. You know, it's, um, it's not gold plate, is it? It's, uh, you know what I mean? Gold. Gild? Where they put, do what? Gold gilding. Yeah, gilding. Sorry, yeah, that's got uh, that's got little bits of gold gilding on it, but obviously made one out of out of gold for us, and yeah, looks really really smart. My wife's got that. Fantastic. My daughter, daughters have got the silver one, but um, yeah, we we find um, we, you know we found lots of bits and pieces like that, and it it always it gets me when I'm like we go to our local club, and um, some of the guys at the club they just you know they they just say oh i wish i could find a roman coin like that and I'll, it then makes you realize how lucky we are where we go you know mm. uh, i'm just going to give a shout out to a few more people in the group because uh, in the chat because it's it's gone a bit ballistic since i uh, last looked since i came on yeah we have that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um there's a few in agreements that it's been a military button uh, andy jones and uh, nick west uh, hello to John Clayton, to Gareth Howard, uh, Pete Terrell. Good evening, Pete. Hope you are well. Um, where are we? Rick Hill. Rick Landaker. Hello, darling. Hope you're well, Mr. Fat Fool. Nice to see you. Uh, I've said Scotty B before, but I'll say I again. That's Tony K. Wood again. Lee Hull. Good evening. Uh, Dominic Tomshik. See, I'm a natural now. Uh, Craig Hearn from Celtic. Uh, stag detecting who we'll have a give a brief mention to them in, in a wee while um and he says oh and he said happy birthday to us and thanks to everybody for the birthday wishes and anniversary pete <laughs> he's also giving a shout out to paul briley on him finding a small hoard on their second dick and he's only been detecting for a month and hello to simon dempsey so that's uh that's that's me all caught up there. So, Aaron, have you got any questions for um, Andy? Well, apart from, like you say, when you found the hoard and you realised that it wasn't gold and you were slightly, you know, well, I say slightly good, you were probably very, very good about it. To be honest, yeah. if, I, if I'd have found that, knowing what they were, that there were these TV props from a, from a TV yeah. show that you absolutely love, I'd be over the moon. You know, well, it's not, it's not yeah, as obvious I mean, as it. Roman. Yeah, let's be yeah, let's be honest. I mean, I yeah, I mean, it's a great thing to find, and it. I mean, it, it, you know, um, initially our initial thoughts were that they were real. So you know, mm. it was only when I took them mm. to um, a guy who lives across the road from me, and he um, he's been detecting for years, and he's part of, part of the archaeological survey in Suffolk. And um, it was only when I, I sort of ran over to I couldn't I was shaking. I ran over, took them over to him there because they were all in a box. And I put them on his kitchen table and he looked at them and said, he said, God, where is, you know, you know, where'd you find them? And then he, then he picked them up. And as soon as he picked them up, he said, they're not real. And I thought, nah, silly old sod, don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, he did. <laughs> so he knew them, whereas we didn't. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a good thing to have. Yeah, it's a good thing to find. Yeah. Very good. Very good. My mesmerizing. Uh, just to let everybody know, we are seven minutes away from the big metal detecting show. Oh, we've got a call waiting. Uh, the prize draw via Diggers Dips. And I hope you've all been on Diggers Dips this week playing their lovely little game. I got quite addicted in work and I've seen my battery power go at dinner time. Thanks to their new uh, virtual dig game. So we've got a call waiting. So. Uh, who are we bringing on now, Mr. Higgins? Oh, it's Kev Marchese. How are you? It's the glamour model. It's the glamour model of metal detecting. 
<laughs> I'll stop it. <laughs> how is everyone? All right? Dandy, how are yourself? Not bad, not bad at all. Good to see you all. And yourself. Obviously, we've got Mr. Weedle here and we've got Andy Sampson to your right there. Up there and down. It's like the Brady Bunch now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Let me guess. Is Kev coming on now to start talking about his gold coins as well? <laughs> yeah. I, Sorry, man, yeah, I, am. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just come on as the uh, you know the the bit of fluff for the ladies, let's say. <laughs> he's the eye candy, is he? Hey, no, you're the one losing all the weight, mate. You're doing really well. I wouldn't say losing weight. I'm toning up. I've lost. I've, I lost. Mind you, I've been to the toilet before and I lost a pound or two. <laughs> oh, yum. So, you found something delightful, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot, well, a find of a lifetime, to be honest with you. I can. The story is, is as good as the coin, to be honest with you. Um, it was the first sort of dig back from the virus, and um, it was good to see everyone. It was really good vibe. The weather was all nice, and um, I was marshalling, bringing everyone in for South East Metal Detecting Rallies and Shop, and... Um, welcoming everyone everyone was in the field came in and um, just started detecting with Jamie and a few others and with I think it was actually my first signal found hammered I was like well that's a good good start anyway it turned out to be the pro actually the greatest day detecting I've I've ever had um, found another hammered after that and then another hammered five yards away from my van and <laughs> by then there's a few people going well what what's he doing what's what's the score of it all um so anyway, i sat and had lunch everyone sat had lunch and everything and we just started all talking about you know how lucky i am and obviously <laughs> i couldn't believe my luck and um we we're sitting lunch and some some chap went and started detecting just literally about 10 yards away from the van and he was just swinging just wildly and i i don't know what he was doing whether he's calibrating his machine or i don't know what he was doing but i was thinking it's not, I don't know whether he's going to find much, but I know a guy from Wiltshire who detects like that, and he finds loads. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get up, give it a swing, give it a go. And um, I was literally, everyone was still sitting down having lunch, and I was about 10 yards away from my van again, and I had a 53 on the on the dais. And I, just, I said to them, guys, this, is, this isn't going to be hammered. It's too low. I don't know. You know I don't know what it is. Anyway, Jamie, who I detect with, stood up and said, right, I'm standing next to you for this one. And I'm glad he did. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I was about six yards away from the gate, four yards away from the van, and I dug this this coin. Um, and I dug it. I looked up at Jamie. Jamie looked at me. I looked down. I looked back up. Uh, next thing I know, my shirt was around my head. I was swinging away in the field. I didn't even pick up the coin. I was just went mad. I was like, oh, my God, I found a gold coin. <laughs> Oh, I just couldn't believe it. Um, anyway, so I've got a coin. Looked at it, looked at it, and I just couldn't believe it. I've got it. I've got it here. Let's see. If, I don't know if it was. I don't know. This glare's not great, but it's. Um, yeah, it's pirate money. It's Spanish cob, one cob. Wow. Um, but it's 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 dead straight, amazing. And um, so I've got a coin in my hand. <laughs> And um, I ran up to one of our detectorists that was there, David Lang, who is just a proper detectorist, one that I admire most, um, along with Pomzi and everyone like that. And he is so placid. I mean, this guy is just, you know, he knows his stuff. And I just went bombing over to him and I just launched myself at him. <laughs> and he thought, he must have thought that I was going to attack him or something like that. And he was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And I was like, sorry, I don't know what to do. What is this coin? He looked at it and he I've never heard him swear or anything like that. He just went, beep, oh my God, oh my God, what what have you done? I was like, I've no idea, I've no idea. And um, I just carried on running around the field topless, just completely in amazement. And then sort of passed it around everyone in the field. Um, and also, which was good, I, there were some newbies there and and it, they just had it in their hand and you could just see like, wow, just, you know, it was really good. And there was a guy that's been detecting there for for years he's been detecting with about 40 years and he's never found a gold coin and I just put a coin in his hand and you you know when you just it's just amazing you know you're just like wow um so i sat down gathered my thoughts <laughs> went along i found another cut half uh charles <laughs> <found cut> half. <laughs> then Best day I, found, ever. 
a, yeah, and then a bronze pauper's ring. Uh, by then, I I just sat down. I was like, I'm not detecting anymore. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's not like, fair I'm on not, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, it was just couldn't believe it. And I think Luke's got the video of it, but it was, I literally sat down at the end of the day. The weather was nice. Everyone was brilliant. And I just, I just couldn't believe it. It was just one of them dream days that is just never going to be topped. You know, mm. I just, it's incredible. I just wish on every detective out there who slugs through the rain, the, everything. But it's an, it's a crazy good thing to mm. to experience, and I wish it well, on every detective. Listen, Kev, I'm going to have to interrupt you because I've got to go live over to the Diggers Dips draw. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Higgins, if I can share the screen, and we will pull that up for the countdown. So you've got 35 seconds or so. So anyway, carry on. No one can, everyone can see you, but there's this on the main. Crack on for a minute, Kev, or well, 30 good seconds. Luck. Good luck, everyone. Um, yeah, so basically, I, oh, God, I've got a countdown. Oh, Aaron's good at stuff like this. I'm useless. Oh, I'm yeah. Good, Aaron, Aaron, do the 10-second countdown. You've got to. Well, I was just thinking about everyone's dream day with a topless Kev Marchese. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to announce the numbers as well and the name. You've got to. It's the law. <laughs> oh. Is he the bloke for the X-Fest? <laughs> I think he is. Is zero last seen two weeks. <laughs> Second number is number one. That's how many times I've won on Digger's Dips. And the final <laughs> number three is number three. Lucky 13. Is that Bovey 64? Was that? Sorry? Baby, baby 69. Baby 69, sorry, it's very small on my screen. So congratulations to Baby 69, my favourite number. <laughs> there you go. So that's the uh, the dips draw done again. Uh, at this point, I think we're normally right. We're going into the adverts. We normally go into the adverts. I don't know what Luke done then. We all went, on, we all went quiet on, for the adverts. Put yourself out. Well, I'm going to plug something if the adverts don't come on. Oh no, he's showing. He's showing <laughs> your. Uh, he's showing oh. you fine. <laughs> Brace yourself, everyone. Hold on tight. This is where you see Kevin what's, his shirt what's off. What's going on? <laughs> no Kevin. way! Kevin. No. He's not got a top off. <laughs> what a letdown. It was getting cold. <laughs> I was hoping for some ab option then. No, Luke's got some footage. Yep. Yeah. The complete video. No, that's the problem. What a late that was all a lie. It was all a lie it's just to wind us up. Our that's most loved ones. Old. Kids hooked on technology and disconnected from nature. And we, as parents, try to encourage them to go outside, explore, and play, and teach them history. Yet, it seems hopeless at times. Nocta Macro. Introducing the world's first waterproof kits detector series. Mini and Mini Horde. Easy to use. Lightweight and compact. Finds, discriminate and pinpoint. Just like an adult's detector. Share your hobby with your kids to build great family memories. Let your kids discover a world full of adventure. Experience an excitement of discovery right outside their door. Mini and Midi Horde. World's first waterproof kids detector series for the young treasure hunters of the future.
Sounds good. I'm Dave D, and you're watching XP Team USA. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for the adverts, and thank you to Diggers Dips for their uh, input in the show and for giving us the prize. Uh, it's won tonight by Baby69. So uh, we have another call waiting. So welcome, caller. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's Scott hey, and Kimmy. Happy anniversary. happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Nice to see you both. Nice to see you as well. Hi, guys. Where's Kev? Is, is Kev still okay. here? Did we lose Cheesy? Kev, Kev Marchese must have gone. He must have gone to find some baby oil. <laughs> How are you both? <laughs> Absolutely great. Marvellous. And, and you, well. Scott? Happy? I'm doing absolutely well, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm having a really good time in life, and it's a great time to be metal detecting in the world. And, uh, yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Doing well. Fantastic! A nice little uh, <laughs> orb of orb of doom going on behind you. Yeah, I don't know. Be ch I don't know. Be chasing that in a minute. <laughs> Where stickers go to die, basically. <laughs> no, traditionally, Dave. Traditionally, whenever uh, Dirt Diggers UK go live, traditionally, uh, Scott normally licks that orb of doom. <laughs> uh, is, uh, am I wrong in saying that, Scott? Do you not normally lick the ball? I, I normally, they, I become detecto electro. I lick the ball. I get slightly electrocuted. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all a bit of fun. That's not that's not weird at all, is it? I, I'd make no, some no, really no. cross <laughs> remark, but Kimmy's here, so I'm going to behave. Lick the ball. <laughs> I don't want to be known as the ball licker. That's fine. <laughs> and you, uh, you know, Mr. Sampson below as well. Yes. No, I haven't had the pleasure. It's nice to meet you. All right. Absolutely awesome. Hi. I think we've we've sort of briefly uh, spoken in the past. I think you're the one. You're the one that found the uh, the coin from the um, detectors. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Yeah. That's old news now. He doesn't want to lick yeah. it. He doesn't want to talk about it. He wants you to lick the ball instead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. You know you're never going to live that down now. I've found that out. I know. I know. So what have you both been up to? Uh, have you been out and playing nicely lately? <clears throat> Man, we've we've had some fantastic last three hunts we, we've got our first permission since we've moved and just we did not expect the, to see the things coming up out of the ground we're finding well mostly her finding really <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell, why don't you tell me what, what, what you found so far <laughs> well um where will we start off with first day walked into the permission uh my my second hole was a nice little charles uh the first what was it little um half penny little silver 
tiny, tiny hammer. And you know what? I, I thought I was having a really good day. I was on top of things. And here comes Kimmy from across the field. Look what I got. Look what I got. Hammered. Hammered. <laughs> but the thing is, right? So we're field hopping and everything uh, on our second second trip there. She pulls out. We've never. She's never had this before. A nice little bucket lister. A little silver annular brooch came up. Wow. And, uh, and then yeah. and then yesterday was a really really good day and i don't mean to keep you keep you too long on this um so we're field hopping it's a potato field it, they plow it really deep it's like two and a half three feet deep for potatoes and uh she goes to the top of the hill she pulls up a hammer yeah, but tell them the story then and she goes down the hill a little bit more she pulls up <laughs> another hammer i'm pulling up a room and she's pulling up hammers it's, it was an incredible day yesterday yeah so this we've got a lot going on in this commission we need to uh get back there really yeah Really so cool. you said you've you've moved recently. Where have you moved to? Uh, we're right, yeah, we're, Essex. we're in Essex. We're right on the coast. Right on the. I could literally walk down the street and and hop the sea wall and, and be on the beach for some beach protecting as well. Oh, marvelous! Yeah. Sounds perfect. Yeah. And of course, Mister Weedle loves his uh, beach detecting. Yes, I do. Why, I you, do. I get well, less hassle. On the beach. <laughs> oh, we've got yeah. another we've got a flash oh, going on again here now we've got another call waiting all so right. who's coming to join the party we should have all had alcohol tonight not drunk well <laughs> on a school night oh, oh it's loads of people kev's back and it's that lovely man oh, there as well come in. Hello, how are you <laughs> how are you mr stainton i'm marvelous thank you very much Bastion. how are you all Marvellous. So good. Yeah. Look at this, six new. people on the show at once. This Ooh. is all new to me. It's cool. cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I wore the wrong hat. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one of them. I, I would hope so. It's, all, it's going all Brady Bunch again here. All Brady Bunch. <laughs> Aaron, I'm going to hand the show over to you for a bit now. Let you talk. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. Dear, oh dear. All right. So, Dean, Dean, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Shedding King, welcome to the show. Yeah. How are you, Dean? How have you been? I'm very well. Thanks. Thank you for asking. I see you've been back oh, out. You've finished it's making perfect. your tomato boxes. Been back out. Oh, Ooh, more there as well. Yes, yes, I have, yes. Oh. Uh, it was an experiment with, with, yeah, to grow tomatoes, so we just put them in the tomato, planted the seeds, have now got 60 fruiting tomatoes, and no garden. <laughs> <laughs> have you also it's been like... putting glitter on snails? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one little ugly eye. <laughs> have you not got any nail varnish? Oh, I didn't think of that. No, no. Do you want to do it with nice, sexy colours? You know, you, you might might start a new trend there. Go fast the stripes. Good, <laughs> 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 <Go> Dino. <laughs> they shouldn't be in the garden, should they? <laughs> Listen, if anybody, Andy, Scotty, Kim, Ma, uh, Kev, any of you have got any questions for anybody else, just dive in. Please be our guest. Well, you are our guest. Where's the what? Dan. Who's Van? <laughs> yeah, Dino, it's, honestly, you're going to have it soon. I'm going to drive it over to you. I'm going to leave it outside your house. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a love Thank affair you. with my van. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. So awesome. Ah, I've got to some tomatoes. Dave, just quickly, if anyone wants these Peaky Finder stickers, I've got quite a few. Just drop me a message. Why, well, mate? Um, no, I want them. Scotty's that's it. Scotty's got um some of them, but I've got quite a few. So mm. just if anyone wants one of these, or yeah, just let me a message. Well, you've got a spelling mistake in it straight away, haven't you? What? Eh? Where what? Made you lock, didn't I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Luke, see you now. Hello. Hello, Luke. Hello. Hello, Hello Kev. Hello. All right, mate. Hi, Luke. Andy. All, All right, right Dean. Scott and Kimmy. How you doing? Hi. Aaron, Hello, how are you doing, everybody? Aaron, Aaron, you need you need to come on what? some more of our digs, my friend. Yeah. Yes, you I do, because I'm not going to find a hammered coin on the beach. 
No. I will. I will. I'm going to come on your on your digs. I will come along. Always, always welcome, mate. We can do that. I'm sure we can arrange getting you there. Just send us a message. But we're out every Sunday. Yeah. Be good to see you again, mate. Yeah, it's a long it's time, mate. You're more than welcome. <laughs> and what's the name of what's the name of the uh, the digs? As long as you keep your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> lot, 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 last time, Aaron, we uh, we started digging a bowling green, didn't we? Which uh... yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, we did. <laughs> what's the name? What's the name of the group who do the digs, uh, Luke? South East Metal Detecting Rallies. So there you go. Anybody who's interested, then yeah. if anybody, yeah, here is a, we've got a question. What beaches in Essex do Scott and Kimmy detect? That's from Adrian Gayler. But he's actually can't spell detect. It says deck tact. Yeah. <laughs> he's the one drinking. Good on him. <laughs> Highly confidential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me my location. Never, never give away your locations. That's a good question. Oh, nice try. Yeah. I do appreciate that. Try again. <laughs> uh, another call waiting. Someone else to join the club. Good evening. Another caller. Who have we got now? God, look at all these. Oh, it's Pete Terrell. Look at all these. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on, let me sort my hair out. That haircut. How are we? Slow, done it. Got it on quick. I've lost my other hat. Are you well, Mr. Terrell? I'm very well, Dave. How are you? Tatty Falarius, thank you for asking. Good. How are we all doing? We all good. All good. All good in the hood. Mm. I think there's four LP apps going on here now. <laughs> well, all the cool kids wear an LP hat. <laughs> I need one. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. I'll sell you one out. Wind down. Yeah, you need, to, you need to get with the program, Stainton. <laughs> so how's the yeah, first year been for you, Dave? The first year, it's been a, it's been a, a learning experience, Pete. It's been great to speak to so many people who I've never met before. Uh, it, you know, to be able to speak to all the people on screen now who we've met at Detectable and such like, but because I live so far north, it's difficult to actually get down south to visit and you know see people in the flesh. It's been great to catch up with people. We've had some, oh. Don't. I was just watching Dean's door open then and someone come in. I thought that was quite profound. Um, we've had some great technical issues, um, as we do. And, uh, yeah, we're here now. So it, it's it's brilliant. Um, I, I, it's it's nice for people to actually turn up and watch because it, even if we've got one person viewing it, it gives us the, um, the oomph to, to carry on, really. No, absolutely. And do you know what, Dave? I... I've seen on Facebook and you talking about these brand new graphics you were getting for this week. I was expecting more than that. Well, there's a story <laughs> behind that. I, I'm inept is basically the, the best explanation. I'm inept and Mr. Higgins has been absolutely manic at work. Um, some images, I'm, I'm waiting for them to come back and they should be here sooner rather than later. Um and I've also, well, 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 what most people don't know is that we actually opened our first uh, shop on the website this week as well. So I've been trying to um, suss out how to do that and dabble in creating images. And I've actually taught myself a few things. So uh, I might actually try and knock something up myself instead of just overlaying a kid's birthday thing <laughs> over the original screen <laughs> on Publisher. <laughs> I, I still much prefer that it's your anniversary. Dave and Luke's first year anniversary. Oh, well, it's, it's actually it's Dave and Luke's about fourth anniversary in that respect. But TC <laughs> uh, saying LP should sponsor the show and give loads of stuff away. Well, we do have uh, a lot of different people who spoke to us from different organisations, uh, including, for instance, Graham Dempsey and. Um, Treasure Hunting Magazine, Greenlight Publishing as well via Mr. Gayler. Uh, we may have some other uh, people coming on board to offer prizes in Digger Dips. Instead of your uh, your tokens for your weekly prize, there'll actually be something else uh, included in, in the show as well. So uh, we, we're hoping to 
add to that as well. So uh, you can have a, an LP hat. <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of them. <laughs> Oh dear! What's he doing here now? What are you he's doing, Stainton's flashing. Do you know? Well, I think all of you there are South Coast, apart from me, really, aren't you? Eastbourne and South Coast. Where are you, Andy? I'm Suffolk Essex border. Is that well? Uh, yeah, yeah, Suffolk. Yeah. So I'm, I'm basically I'm yeah. surrounded by Southerners, apart from Northern Ireland and America. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is. That's why we can. I mean, <laughs> That's why you're all you you're all going out finding gold and Roman <laughs> coins and silver and. I find yeah. two peas. We do like, we do like, like a bit of bling. We do like a bit of bling. <laughs> what was that, Dean? <laughs> yeah, me, me and Dean. Aaron's doing Norman Collier now. <laughs> Aaron, what are you doing, Aaron? Are you looking for a dog? Oh, he's froze. <laughs> No, oh, he's no, no, it's no, he's taking us out. Come on, my <laughs> listen, right? I've got an idea. Screen that I'm... What? If Pete sends Kev a hat, Kev can get his top off. I don't know who that's going to benefit. So, Pete, oh, uh, since <laughs> since the lockdown's been over and people are, are back out and about, has business been picking up? <laughs> Pete, sorry, I lost. Oh, hello. Time. I've just oh, meant it on my own. Uh, since the coronavirus malarkey stopped and what have you, has business been picking up for LP? Well, do you know what, Dave, and I'll be really honest, I've said this to a lot of people, coronavirus for us actually didn't affect our trade negatively. What we actually found was that suddenly all these families around the country were stuck at home with their kids, driving them mad. Um, and what it's actually created is loads of beginners into the hobby especially family groups that are now out in the field, out in their paddocks with their kids, teaching them about history. So we've actually been really busy through Corona. Plus, on top of that, all the challenges of running a business through Corona, which was a total nightmare. But um, yeah, it's been busy, really busy, which is good. We like busy. We do like busy. Yeah. And with the, the, the knock the mini hordes in due to come out soon as well. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I talk to Dilek quite um, quite often about that one because it, it's a product that's in huge demand. We're getting lots of interest for it, which is incredible seeing there's nothing out there apart from a video that Dilek's done and talked about briefly in a few test units. Um, the word's spreading and, yeah, it's going to be a good product. There, there's nothing out there. If you're an eight-year-old kid... All right, you could use a MindLab Go Find, but it's not really designed for kids. It certainly fits the purpose, but it's not designed for them. So to have the peace of mind of it being waterproof and rechargeable for less than £100 is, yeah, it's a good product. We're looking forward to that one. Mm. Shouldn't be too much longer. Now, my son, he's uh, seven, as you know, and uh, yeah. he's been out with me a couple of weeks ago. We mm. went out with the Simplex because it was first time proper, and... Mm. Uh, it was just, it was perfect in the sense that it was able to shorten it to the, you know, the perfect size for him. But weight and uh, balance, totally different. A lot of people have said, oh, yeah, you can use one of them. You could, but the weight and the balance, and he's a big lad for a seven year old. But, you yeah, know. But this is what the mini and midi hall is designed for, Dave, that any kid will be able to pick it up. It's simple to use and it's lightweight. And, yeah, you can just get on and use it. You don't need the parents um, helping you out as such. You can just go and do it on your own. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, look, I'm really certainly looking forward to that. that. Yeah. Me too. Luke's back. Must be something going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to say with those, I'm really looking forward to those for my girls. Yeah. Um, because even knowing they were utterly 
hopeless and useless. I've got to put my hands up. I bought two of those National Geographic things <laughs> uh, probably about six or seven months ago just because I wanted to get them account, detected okay. and complete, completely, completely pointless. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be first in queue for those. Can't wait because they come detecting with me all the time, but they just kind of sit around in the back of the car and they're actually picking my machine up, trying to do it, you know, trying to copy me, but there's, there's, there's just no way. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, no, it's going to be a great little product, Luke. And um, I, I know we've talked about it for your kids. And um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great. Can't wait for that. Me too, definitely. Well, yeah. Probably more so uh, me and Luke, obviously, we've discussed it as well. And uh, I'm just reading what Stainton's putting on the screen now. Um, <laughs> hey, Rock Liquor Petterston, Petterkin. Um I think the, the Midi Horde is going to be more apt for him uh, because of his size for a seven-year-old. The mid Mini Horde's just that little bit small. Yeah. Well, with the Midi, you've got a slightly wider arm cup. It's slightly longer, and it's not so child-like, if for want of a better word. So you, instead of thumbs up, thumbs down, it's got proper detecting icons. Right. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a good machine. And is the release of them going to be simultaneous, or are they going to be one after the other? No, it should come through at the same time. So um, the plan is, rather than drip feed in the market with the product, there should be enough at launch to fulfil anyone that wants one, hopefully. Mm. Don't hold me to that, because it's out of my <laughs> control. It's not my fault, but... <laughs> Yeah, it should be good. And I suppose that the pressure's on to do that before Christmas then, presumably. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a macro real, now. Yeah, it, it's a key time for us. I mean, obviously, the business that you're in, you'll know that, um, yeah, Christmas is going to be key for that product. Um, obviously, it's got a purpose through the summer months when the kids sit down at the beach, it being waterproof, that sort of stuff. But, um, no, it's a gift purchase. It's going to be, yeah, yeah just the right time, really. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all have to delect to get it out. They're my fault. <laughs> yes, everybody, bulk message delect and get a teller to get it sorted ASAP. Yeah. Uh, anybody else got any questions for each other, or for for Pete, or for Luke while he's on screen? Yeah, well, I've got a question for Luke. Quite a question. It's it's been a year now. He's still not dialed in with his webcam. What's going on? Yeah. 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 Uh, well, uh, I, uh, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't got my cap on. I haven't got a tie on. I haven't got a shirt on. You know? Clothes make of man. <laughs> so you, you're basically doing a Marchese on us. I've got I've got my Dennis the Menace pajamas on at the moment. So <laughs> let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. <laughs> no, believe it or not, I don't even know if I can do it. I don't know if I can put the camera back on. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Know, same old way. Let me have a look. Come on, I don't think I can. But if I he's got, if he, if he does do it, it, and he's got Dennis the Menace pajamas on, I'm disowning no, him. No, no, no. Honestly, I, I I got in this afternoon um, to relax from work. Took the shirt off. I'd done it all day put another one on, took my daytime flat cap off, put my evening <laughs> flat cap on. So... <laughs> well, cheesy <laughs> st stripping. Door is laughing now. Come on, Laura. Oh, I, I think I think we should get we definitely need to get Laura on as well. People need to see the uh, Mrs. Higgins. Oh, I don't, honestly, I don't think I can turn this camera on. Hang on, let me try. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong button. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> uh, Paul Grimley says, questions, what are your feelings on attending digs at the oh, moment? Do you feel it's time to get back to a little normality? Oh, Anybody? You can't, you can't that camera, yeah. I mean, I, I'll, I'll take that one first, Dave, because we... We typically organise LP digs, and we're certainly not at the minute. And it's purely down to, I've obviously got myself and my team to consider as well as my customers. And I, I'll be really blunt and honest, and it's the same reason our showrooms are closed at the minute, that every Monday I go on Facebook and we've got organised things going on where there may well be social distancing, it's all sold as that. But social distancing falls apart when 
you're all grouped together for a selfie and you're all passing fines to each other. And that's where the problem comes for me, that these very same people then will come into my showroom in front of my teams. And I can't risk my staff um, as a responsible employer for that to happen. And that feeds down to the group digs as well. I, I don't have a problem with digs happening as long as they're managed correctly. I mean, the risk assessments that I've had to do as a business owner to operate during COVID, I can see maybe that's not happening with some dig organisers. It's disappointing because it affects the whole hobby and businesses like mine that are trying to do things the right way. And we've just had to draw a line and kind of stop all interaction because of the stuff that we're seeing on social media. And it's not just us seeing it. It's people behind the scenes, conversations we've had, Dave, recently. Um, we just need to be a little bit smarter, I think. And then life can get so. back to normal a little bit quicker, or the new normal, whatever that mm -hmm. may be. And, of course, this month we, we're missing out on both the Rodney Cook Memorial Rally and Detectable. Yeah, and, and, and again, Dave, the reason that they're not happening isn't because... Um, Mark and Gary couldn't manage it because absolutely you can get toilets cleaned, you can um, enforce social distancing rules, and you can do all those things, but it needs everyone to understand what that means and follow it. And I mean, Gary in particular, he's raising money for a cancer charity for people that are sick, and at the same time, yeah, you know, it's difficult. And I don't want to go on a rant and a moan about <laughs> things. Well, I am. But um, it's just frustrating when you look on Facebook and you see group digs happening with everyone huddled up, having selfies together and passing fines between each other. I just don't understand why people aren't getting it. But mm. hey, hey, that's my but, wing over. But at the same time, uh, in the real, the real world, outside of metal detecting, Football are reintroducing fans. There's talk of 2,000 being at Cambridge in the near future. Yeah. Uh, rugby are reintroducing fans. What's it going to be like there? I mean, hey, very, very start of all this malarkey, Cheltenham Horse Festival went through the roof on COVID because they were stupid. Yeah, well, I, I, I think you know, Dave, I've got a couple of season tickets at Spurs. And the season starts in a few weeks. And I speak to my account manager often every week and they still don't know what's going on it's not so much the stadium because it holds sixty thousand. you could have mm. five thousand or you could not use every other seat or whatever um to just get season ticket holders in but you think about the transport getting there and all that sort of stuff which it obviously isn't a concern that we have um in organizing digs um but if the whole hobby could just be a little bit sensible Mm. Or it might just be 5G and we're all worrying about nothing. <laughs> I've got this toilet. Can you, can you produce some LP tin foilettes? <laughs> if I can sell it, I'll produce it. <laughs> you, can have that one. you can have that one on me. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to show... Uh, I'm going to show and tell. Uh, I said we'd opened up our, our little shop this week which is basically merchandise and what have you for this show, because people have been asking for a while. And thanks to uh, Scott Holden of Detector Network, he pointed out um, how to do it uh, the easy way. So we've opened that up. I best share the screen, hadn't I? Where's, where's the show gone? There it is. Let me just share the screen. Is somebody else waiting to come on? But let's share the screen, Luke, if we can, because obviously, uh, oh, here we go. So, this is the shop. Lots of nice, lovely things, as you can see. Uh, waiting for some updated images so they look a little bit better. But as I say, people asked, so we've uh, attempted to, to do. So, uh, I'm very proud of this one. I created these little babies last night. Look at that. They look awesome, Dave, to be fair. You've done a good job there, mate. I was looking through it the other day. It's brilliant. Some good quality stuff there. Well, the, the, uh, the Just just Dig It stuff... Um, was a flash of inspiration last night. Uh, checked all and sundry, and uh, it's a bit of a play on Nike, really. So look at them. Pretty cool. <laughs> Just dig it. Yeah, well done. Anyway. Oh, we had an order as well, incidentally. I had our first order. I was like, oh, 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 I've had an order. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got a call waiting. Uh, who's going to be number nine? 
Because Luke's still on. You can't see him, but he's there. Hey! Good evening. Hey, Paul. How are you, Mr. Stokes? Not bad, not bad. How are you? All right, Nursey. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Just Stokes. enjoying the Guinness. Oh, Hello. He's got an LP hat on as well. Yeah. Graham's another legend. <laughs> You're a legend, Pete. Here, Pete, I need a new cap. This one's getting a bit mucky. Look, everyone's <laughs> after it here, aren't they? <laughs> you need to make them digital, let him print them out himself with a 3D printer or something. <laughs> oh, Luke's disappeared. Anyway, I'm not including everybody else in the conversation here. Scotty and Kim. Scotty and Kim. Scott and Kimmy. I got it the wrong way around then. Throw something in. Throw some hand grenades yeah. in. Hey, Graham, it's good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to yes. see you. Good to see you, Graham. Hey, Kimmy, I, I've missed the start of the show. I don't, I don't know if you've talked Can about it, show? but what have you been up to today, Kimmy? Uh, uh, work, <laughs> home. I wanted to go metal term, but I had to go to work instead. <laughs> well, well, I, saw, I saw a post from the Horde. Sam, say it again, sorry. Sorry, so, something about a horde? Yeah, something about a horde? What happened yesterday? You want to just tell what happened? Uh, um, well, let me explain. <laughs> when we went out yesterday, we <laughs> went into the first phase on this new permission. So we went, in, <laughs> we went in there for a little while. Because <laughs> we hear that. And then there for a little while, and then we um we field hopped. So we were sitting in the car, and we made this little pack thing that whoever wins the best find doesn't have to be a coin, doesn't have to be an artifact. The best find buys dinner. So Scott thinking, don't we? Yeah, I'm gonna kick her butt as always. I'm gonna kick her butt. <laughs> He comes up with his silver, Vicky Silver. So we get into this other field. Scott's down the bottom of the field, and I'm up the top of the field. And I've gone. Howard. And he's like, what? <laughs> you know what Scott's face is like, what? <laughs> with the field he comes. With the, with the camera. <laughs> with the camera, as he does, my cameraman. <laughs> Don't mean as he does. So, done that. So that was. One down, he walks away, literally, two seconds later, another hammered. And he's like, I just give up, I give up, I just give up, I'm, I'm just wasted. Well, I'm, honestly, you know what, I was, I had just pulled up a little Roman minimum, and it was sitting on my spade, and I hear hammered over my shoulder, and like, my minimum means nothing anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, no, no, listen, that's not it. So then he walks away again, and two seconds later, hammered, hammered, <laughs> hammered. <laughs> he absolutely hated me yesterday. He actually went back to the car and huffed. <laughs> he sat in the no. car. Yeah, he did. He took a break. He went, no, a break. He went back to the car <laughs> and he huffed. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take a fiver. <laughs> oh my God! What a day. Honest to God, these fees that we have just got. We've been field hopping all over the permission, and some of them were really slow and quiet, and we expected this, this next one to be quiet, and it was the most brilliant one so far. <laughs> so who knows what's going to happen next. Yeah. No. I know the best thing about it, though, the farmer, he's so interactive with his. And I go back, and we'll go back and have a conversation. That's a him. real plus in middle yeah. tech than when, you, when the permission owner is really involved yeah. in what you're doing what you're finding he wants he wants to know the history of his land and in surrounding areas so we're we're just giving him everything we find except you know the hammer but we're letting him know what's happening and he's just totally enthused and i wish everybody's uh you know farmers were like that we're like that yeah. and it, would Fantastic. Be, it would make everything Honestly. so much easier it'd be so less animosity between well i see i seen him yesterday and i said to him I've got a surprise for you. And he goes, well, what's the surprise? Amy? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you I'm actually going to hand him back the brooch that I find awesome. on his land. 
So uh, yes. I'm going to give it. I'm going to display it for him. I'm going to get registered and nice. display it for him and give him it back. Man. So yeah, do you know what I mean? And you're a, you're a giver. <laughs> no, Are you a taker then, Scott? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. uh, I've had a, another flashy to tell us that there's a, a caller waiting, so let's bring on the, the, the next caller. There he is. Good oh, evening. It's, it's that nice Mr. Scott Holden from Detector Network. How are you, Squire? I'm very well. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. You too, and all of you as well. It's the most people I've seen on the stream so far. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Brady Bunch. <laughs> uh, I've got a question from Paul Grimley again He said, uh, so what era do you all prefer finding finds from? Saxon, Tudor, Roman, etc So uh, we'll start at the top and we'll ask Scott well, I'm sorry, repeat the question please. Oh, sorry What era do you prefer to uh, find finds from? Uh, an era that I haven't found a find from, which would probably be the Saxon era, honestly, is just there's, there's so much that's not known about uh, that dimension of mm. um, society that came over from Europe and in, in settled over here after the Romans left. I just want to know more. I want to see some of it in my own hands. I want to find it. I think that's what would really pique me on that one. And yourself, Mr. Sampson? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same as Scott. Um Saxon stuff. I'm, we've not found lots of it. Um, the stuff that we have found is very early Saxon, late Roman, early Saxon stuff. Um, but what always gets me is that on our permissions, we'll find on one field, we'll find perhaps Roman bits and pieces. And literally, we'll walk 10 foot across a, a pathway into another field. And we won't find anything Roman there, but we'll find medieval. And we won't find anything... Um, anything medieval on the Roman field and it's weird the way that it happens it's just it's like every field has its own era if you like um but we do think we found uh, a Saxon burial field which our flow has told us because we found several little bits and pieces um but yeah we're not lots not lots of it I mean where we detect um is not far from uh Sutton Who so I'm dying to find some some goodies from those people over That'd there. Be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So under Mr. Sampson is Mr. Weedle. Aaron's found Saxon. I haven't found Saxon. Uh, I'd like to find something hammered. I've not found anything hammered yet. <laughs> Just something hammered. A nice silver hammered coin. <laughs> you're, uh, you, you, you're talking... And your voice is coming about five seconds before your mouth moves. <laughs> Badly dubbed. <laughs> Badly dubbed boy. That's weird. <laughs> Mr. Stainton, yourself. That's weird. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> oh, joke. Uh, oh, uh, Victoria, I love, uh, I love finding stuff. It's always... Uh, it's just a great period, I think. There's all sorts of stuff you can find. Um, yeah, and obviously all the, all the standard stuff. But I just love finding... And um, Edward, Edward the Seventh Coin. Mm. Love them. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite, really. Mm. We, we can pass Kev Marchese because he's a pirate treasure. So go on, Mr. <laughs> Kev Marchese. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, basically, a little bit like Mr. Sampson, I've got a field that's just pulled out, I mean, in excess of about 60, 70 hammers. Not not me, but a lot of people. And then you go literally one field across, and last week I found another Roman coin, and we absolutely smashed it, but we don't find any Roman anywhere except this field. But um, for me, and this is on top of my gold coin, um, my top have you bucket got, list. Have you found a, a gold, gold coin, have you? Oh, did I, I said, I'm not, sir. Did I not mention? No, yeah, no, I'll, no, no, no. I'll tell you the story about it later. It's great. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, my, on top of my gold coin, top of my list is um, a seal matrix. I, I just, I, I'm yet to find one, but it's that's right on top in front of Saxon or anything. I, I, that's for me, it's just a personal thing like that. It's just incredible. I just love to find one. Mr. Terrell? Well, for me, I, I like Roman artifacts. So brooches, especially um, anything Roman, 
I, I used to love the Roman history when I was at school. So, um, yeah, that's carried through. Nursey, yourself? Um, something quite difficult. Viking. It'd have to be something Viking for me. I'd love that. Um, uh, exactly yeah. the same. That, that, that'd yeah. be it for me. In, in fact, that, that reminds me, Dave, I've got a book for you. Um, from when It's about when the Vikings invaded the Wirral. So that's not far from you, is it? Is it Ingman's Saga? Uh, don't know. It's red. It's a red. Oh, this is Ingman's Saga's blue. I like books. Chairman Mao had a little red book. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so Scott. It's Viking. Sorry. Yes, me too. And, and the Bronze Age accent. I'm desperate for one of them. Scott, I know you haven't been out much, but uh, what would you be your little era? For me, probably Roman. Same mm. as Pete, really. Yeah, because I, I got into that quite a bit at school as well. So, Brilliant. Uh, there was another question from someone all the way up there. Now we've had that one. It was from Paul Grimley again. Uh, my best moments in the last year of the show, without a doubt, uh, as well as talking to everybody, which has been fantastic, it was my meltdown at Julian Evan Hart not being able to use his phone. It was the funniest thing I've ever been involved in in my life. Uh, the Detectable Show. What a show that was. It went on for about four days, that show, but everything about it was was perfect, uh, especially Adrian and his inability to use te technology. Adrian? Julian, sorry. <laughs> um, we have a, a question for Scott. Uh, Scott, Detector Network. Uh, release date for the apps. So tonight, I released the Android app to Play Store. Um, so apparently there's a bit of a longer review process than usual because of uh, coronavirus, but I hope it won't be longer than five days. It's finished. I hope you'll love it. Leave us an amazing review if you do love it. Uh, and the iOS one will follow about a few weeks afterwards. So, But I've got it on my phone right now. It's great. So even though I do say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's finally here. So I hope you love it. And let me know if you don't. You know, we can all, we'll be improving it over time. So marvellous. Um, Scott, can I just say, because I think the app is so important for people, especially nowadays, because I carry my phone around with me all the time. I'm not attached to my desktop all the time. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to the iOS app coming out. So Oh, yeah, yeah, iOS, OK. Get on board with it. Well, who doesn't have iOS? Well, chaff, we chaff phone. <laughs> well, man, to be honest, you know, you know I'm a developer, veteran developer, and I love tech. And uh, Android have taken over in the last three, four years, uh, maybe because they've copied iOS a little bit, probably. But they are very good. They are on par. However, I do appreciate... Apple and iOS is attention to detail. So we will be releasing both. Yeah. Um, and I do have both. Uh, so that's fine. But it's good to know that you've got iOS. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's a 50 50 thing. I put out a poll on Detector Network. I said, right, guys, what phone have you got? And uh, most had Android. So I said, right, okay, let's focus on Android first. Let's get Android out there. That's what most people want. Then we'll release iOS. And, uh, but it's, it's kind of 50 50. It's hard to release, you know. But I've got Android. I've released the Android now. That's done. iOS is 75% complete now. So you won't have long to wait. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone's just disappeared and I can't put my finger on who it is. It's like them games where you move something. Who's it's missing now? Dave. It's Aaron. Aaron Wheatle's disappeared. Oh, yeah, he fell asleep. <laughs> He found 2P, he got it overexcited. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, everybody, uh, it's been fantastic to have you all on tonight, each and every one of you. Hope to have you back individually in the near future. Um, again, from myself and Luke, it's been a great first year, and we look forward to everything else. Look at them, Dete Archaeology and Metal Detecting Magazines. Oh, very nice. Very nice. We would have had six this year if it wasn't for certain viruses popping up. <laughs> oh, I know. How many do you so, have, Dave? How many what? 
<laughs> Viruses. Hey, just the one. <laughs> just the one. It's lovely seeing these guys again. <laughs> and yourself, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely awesome seeing you guys, man. It's, it's, it's a fantastic time to be metal detecting, and it's great to be with. Um, well, hopefully, we'll all see each other out on an event at some point soon. We certainly will. What we need to look yeah. forward to. And we'll break, some, we'll break Scott's uh, metal detecting virginity. <laughs> we will indeed. Yeah. Aaron's is back. Aaron's three... back just, just as we're about to uh, end the show. The stream isn't ending already, surely. Pardon? The stream isn't ending already, surely. Yes, we are, sadly, because Mr. Mr. Higgins and myself have got to get up stupid early. We do have a video to play to end the show. It's the uh, the new Kevin James Metal detecting melee, melee, melee video. Oh, I love that. That was so Kevin, funny. I, I Kevin that. James, the American funny. actor. Brilliant short. It's only a two minute long one. And Kevin <laughs> Dean are just playing together. He's passed him a cup and he's got a salt cellar. <laughs> so if I can get some last words from everybody, Scotty and Kim. Happy hunting, everybody. Stay safe and we'll catch you all soon. Swing low. Swing slow, slow and keep on swinging. Yay! <laughs> Mr. Sampson? Yeah, um, good luck to everybody and uh, speak to you all again sometime. Mr. Stainton? Take care, good luck and happy hunting to everybody. Woohoo! And hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Phil Cool, isn't he? He is <laughs> Phil Cool. Yeah. Dean, can you do your uh, your moving on for us before we go? That what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you do that? That thing you do, moving on. Can you do that? Moving on. Hold on. There. There. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Barchese. Well. Yeah, good luck. Happy hunting. Stay safe, and I hope to see you well and detect a ball or some sort of group group dig soon because it's been madly missed this year. It certainly Lovely has. Mr. Terrell? Yeah, same for me, really. I'm just looking forward to seeing everyone again. We've been in our own little bubbles for what seems like forever. World's a crazy place, but yeah, yeah. can't wait for it to get back to normal and we'll have a good catch up with everyone around some bonfire somewhere with people falling over drunk and yeah. making tits of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Scotty B, you know, any chance? I think there's a few names on the list. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Holden down below. Dave, Luke, you're absolute legends. Happy birthday. Thank you very much for accommodating me. And all good luck. Uh, and, yeah, looking forward to the next few months. And Mr Weedle, who we'll obviously have back as one of our co-hosts in the coming weeks. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's been fun. I've had a blast. It's been a great evening. That was perfect. Your lip synchronisation was perfect <laughs> that time. <laughs> I've switched cameras. I've, I'm not on the laptop anymore. It started to get... It was getting tired. There was too much going on on the screen. And Aaron, okay, you the audio. Audio. Aaron. <laughs> Out of all of us, Aaron's the one that does audio for a living. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a fantastic countdown for the draw. <laughs> Right, thank you all again, everybody. I'm going to share the screen now, Luke, and we'll go out with uh, Metal Detecting Melee, uh, the new film by, uh, sorry, the new short by Kevin Smith. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Next week, we have the Celtic Stags uh, and Mike Smith of uh, Celtic Chariot fame, uh, who will be having a South Wales special of the show. So uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. And don't forget uh, to go over to the Celtic Stag uh, Facebook group to find more about the Strata Florida Abbey dig, which starts tomorrow. Thank you all. Luke, share the screen and good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary.
was here first. I was here first. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Most loved, loved, loved ones. ones. Kids. Kids. Hooked on Ho technology. And disconnected from nature. And we, as parents, try to encourage them to go outside, explore, and play. And teach them history. Yet, it seems hopeless at times. Nota Macro. Introducing the world's first waterproof kids detector series. Mini and Mini Horde. Easy to use. Lightweight and compact. Finds, discriminate and pinpoint. Just like an adult's detector. Share your hobby with your kids to build great family memories. Let your kids discover a world full of adventure. Experience an excitement of discovery right outside their door. Mini and Midi Horde. World's first waterproof kids detector series for the young treasure hunters of the future. I'm Dave D and you're watching XP Team USA.